YouTube, it's me guys, it's Zavadar here. How are you guys doing today? Today, I'm bringing you guys a fantastic map guide for Sanctuary. But first guys, I'm going to start this off with a nice little Easter egg um, and a teddy bear location. So, this Easter egg is in the graveyard and there's a bunch of sounds, so listen up guys, listen close. Now that you guys heard those ghost sounds over in the graveyard, now let's go find the teddy bear. It will be found right in this little church area with the big altar and whatnot. And behind a little red curtain is a teddy bear just chilling in the chair, guys. It's just lonely and chilling in the chair. I know my camera, my camera movements and spectating mode is god-awful. I will work on that for future videos, guys. But that's the teddy bear right there. I hope you guys like that. And uh, yeah, so let's move on to the regular map guide, shall we? Let's do it. So, the overview for Sanctuary, guys. Let's get to it, right? So, Sanctuary is the new map that also came out along with Foundation. And I did map guide for Foundation, guys. Make sure to check the top left-hand corner of your screen to go to the Foundation map guide. So, for some awesome tips, jumps, spots, lines of sight, and all that good stuff, guys. But anyway, big shout-out to my buddy, SonicFire15. He helped me make this video. He helped me find these amazing spots, these amazing lines of sight on this map. And a big shout-out to him. He's always been a good friend of mine. Um, his link will be in the description below. Make sure you tell him that Zev sent you. And uh, yeah, everything's all good. Anyway, guys, so this little wall right here is also is always very populated. and also divides the action, if you will. Um, a lot of bullets get um, punctured into that wall. And you can just jump on top of that, on the side of that wall. And uh, yeah, you can look over it. You can like do a nice little head glitch. And uh, Sonic will show us very, very, very shortly um, the little head glitching spot. So... Over here, guys, if you want to jump from one side of this quarry to another, this ravine, if you want to call it, you just jump on this side of the wall and then lay on this little platform and jump across. It's that easy, guys, and you can do it vice versa, too. And what I mean by vice versa is the same thing, back and forth, back and forth, and just have a good old time just jumping back and forth over a ravine, knowing that if you do fall, you will fall to your death. But anyway, guys, so yeah, this little underground passage, I like to call it, just because it goes underneath the map, is really, really handy-dandy, and I really, really like using it. I really like surprising my enemies, too. So if I know that they're over by this bridge and that they're covering the top, you know, hallway, I'll go underneath, and then I'll hit up the bridge, and then I'll kill them, and uh, it'll be an awesome kill cam. And uh, yeah, guys, so moving on. Sonic Fire 15 is getting into his spot over there. It's an amazing, nice little head glitching spot, um, if, depending on where you look at. But it's also a great spot just to have a good look at the ravine, such as the underground route. But uh, yeah, so moving on guys, this little barrel over here is good coverage um, to the bridge. That bridge is always heavily populated, um, whether that is sentry guns, human, you know, humans, your AI characters. I, I shouldn't say AI, I should say you know, your in-game characters. Um, sentry guns, SAM turrets, uh, all that good stuff, claymores, grenades. Always very heavily populated. It's also a very good opening route. And so yeah, right here, Sonic Fire 15 is demonstrating for us the uh, the point of view that you guys can get if you guys do hide down here. I don't know if you want to say hide, but you know, um, you know, crouch down here, and then you guys can look over there as they come um, across the, the underground passage, as I like to call it. So moving on, guys. Um, this hallway, these hallways are always very populated, no matter where in the game you guys are, whether you're down by 50 points. Or whether you're ahead by one bomb or whatnot, you can always, always guarantee to find a player in those hallways, and you just shoot them down and get a nice old kill, and then you're one step closer to that awesome kill streak that you've been saving up for. Um, and then these gravestones, like I showed you before, um, that I was at with the uh, Easter eggs, the sounds, um, they're amazing spots to uh, you know hide behind, you know, get cover, you know, lines of sight, head glitch, and all that good stuff. And uh, these grave stones on the side of this entrance to the middle hallway, guys, they're amazing. You guys can do some awesome head glitching and look over to the other side of the map. Um, if you 
have like a line from the middle hallway and that, that divides your map, you guys can get some awesome lines of sight in the graveyard. All right, so one will be shown by Sonic Fire 15 very, 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 very soon. So there's a lot of gravestones in this graveyard that a lot of people can hide behind, you know, and it's just very underrated in terms of coverage. Now look at Sonic Fire. He's behind that wall. Hmm, problem solved. Look at that. You can look all the way over that fence. So anyone that's, you know, going prone, um, is pulling out his Predator missile or something, you can just fire upon him if you hop on top of that cross on top of the um, gravestone. And you're all good to go. And you can film that, and then you can upload it to YouTube, maybe add some of my genius commentary. You guys understand the reference. And anyway, so moving on, guys. You guys can get this awesome little defense spot right behind this little railing. And uh, it's really hard to shoot you through that or even see enemies through that. And what I mean by you is like enemies because, you know, right now I'm in my perspective and it's all good. So anyway, guys, I cannot stress this enough that the graveyard, you can always find an enemy or two, you know, hiding behind a gravestone or, you know, using a predator missile in the grass or you know, guys know what I mean. It's just a very, very heavily populated area. Now, this church area, not so much. I don't know why, but people, I guess, don't like to pray enough in, in the middle of a Call of Duty game. But hey, who knows? I like to pray in the middle of a Call of Duty game. I don't know about you guys. So anyway, moving on. Um, you know, this little hallway is really, really cool. Although there's not that many people over here. Uh, I know that this is a spawn for, I, I believe, Capture the Flood. No, not Capture the Flood. Domination. My bad, guys. But these little barrels can provide some awesome uh, coverage for you when you look over the barrels. And instead of going all the way over the stairs to your left, you can just jump on top of the trash can, jump on the wall, and you're all good. That saves you, what, 0.5 seconds at most, maybe? And uh, you can head glitch over here, although you can't really see that many enemies clearly. If you had Marksman on, um, you could see that you could see the enemies' names just light up. And uh, yeah, so this little area right here, guys. Um, sorry, I failed at this jump. You can't jump up there apparently. So yeah, this little courtyard, guys. I love this little courtyard area, and I'll get more into that in Search and Destroy. So these little rocks are really awesome to hide behind and uh, provide coverage to. And this area, thank you, Sonic Fire, for pointing this out to me. I would have missed it if it wasn't for him. So instead of running all the way up here and up this hallway and up the stairs and, you know, finally getting up here, you know, you're, you're tired by then. You know, if you're down here, you can just simply jump up here and just, you know, I failed the first time, but, you know, just keep on jumping A, 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 and just jump up here and then you're good to go. And you can start shooting and, you know, combat your way through enemies, through thousands of enemies. <laughs> that sounded kind of weird, but you guys understand what I mean. Thank you, Sonic, again for finding that awesome spot. And hey, we're just fountain trolling. So yeah, so Sonic, thank you for finding that uh, that fountain too. Really owe you big time for the the fountain. And uh, yeah, so if you guys want to cover the bridge, I found this awesome spot right here where Sonic Fire is actually um, is actually is actually is. And then you come to the side, you can look right straight down the bridge area if you crouch. And you can get anyone that's coming over the bridge trying to kill your team or trying to take um, ADOM. Uh, but, you know, it's all good. And you can jump down another level and just see straight through the bridge. It's amazing. I get so many kills with my LMG. And, uh, yeah, guys, also this spot right here is really, really cool because you you have a great line of sight to the other side of the bridge, guys. And there's always enemies that are trying to snipe you from the other side and everything. So this little bell house right here, guys, is also provides some great coverage for people coming over the bridge or coming from cemetery to bridge. And uh, yeah, so if someone's covering seed or Adom from back, you guys can run across this building from that side, run all the way back there from where I previously was, and then shoot them down, and then maybe add a little tea bag for uh, adding insult to injury. But anyway, guys, moving on to search and destroy. Let's do it, shall we? Let's do it to it. So, starting off right here at B-Search. Now, this B-Search I love because there's so many things to do. There's so many places to cover. There's so many um, places to, you know, arm the bomb. It's really, really awesome, and I love this objective spot. So, this is obviously B-Search, and you can arm it from many different sides and many different angles. But watch out, guys, because for some reason, Infinity War decided to put a bench on every single side of this bomb. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, guys. Look, the, there's like benches you can hop on and look straight up through the window and kill them. So, that's very good to know about if you're trying to defend B, whether you have it or whether you're trying to defend it from the enemy team. Um, you know, so, look, there's another bench and there's another window. So, except for your, if you're over by a tree, there is no bench. Although, benches come from trees, so, hmm. Benchception, yeah, hashtagged it up, guys. <laughs> 
But anyway, guys, moving on. So you guys can hop on top of this little idol worshipper thing, and you guys can get an awesome view over to B. And if you also are on top of this little um, little overview, you guys can also get an amazing view to B. Whether you're defending, whether your team is trying to arm the bomb, it's amazing, guys. So on a separate note, I'm just curious, guys. That tree that I just passed on my left, do you guys think that that's like the tree of life from the Lion King? I think it's from the Lion King. Or from Animal Kingdom and Disney. I don't know if you guys have ever been to Disney, but leave a comment down below whether you have or haven't, and if you agree that it does look like that tree from the Animal Kingdom. I'm really actually curious if you guys have to say that it is or not, because um I've been wondering that myself. I've been losing sleep over that, guys. But anyway, guys, so moving over to A Search. Um, you know, you, there's so many different places to look at, like uh, lines of sight. Although it is quite open for a bomb site on search and destroy, so don't expect too much cover, and um, you know keep on expecting to keep on running around and all that good stuff. And uh, you know this wall area, like I showed before, is a great spot to look at. A look at that guy's perfect view, and you get the head glitch and everything, and it's just a grand old time. And uh, yeah, so moving on to uh, the rest of A, a search. <laughs> You guys thought I was moving on the sea search, but there is no such thing. But you can hide behind these barrels, provide some excellent cover, guys. It's amazing. And then if you look over at this wall, look at that head glitch, guys. It, you can only see the head for the most part. You can see a little bit of the gun in the right shoulder, but it's good enough. So, let's move on to domination, guys. We're here over by Seedum, so let's get right into it. No hesitation. Over here by the bell tower, you can guys get some amazing lines of sight like I've already covered. Over by the bridge. And, uh, you know, you can stop any intruders that are trying to come from over the bridge. Now, over by this little wall, you guys can cover the people that are coming from the uh, mid-hall, or, you know, like, middle of the map kind of halls, um, hallways, and people are coming from that way. And uh, you guys can stop them from taking your flag, or, you know, if you're defending that flag, it'll be all a good jam dandy time. Yeah, it's a jim dandy, you have a problem with it? No, I'm joking, guys. But that's the way that you guys should cover C. And yes, you guys can capture see from over here, but there's so many grenades being chucked over here that it's just not worth it. And RPGs and rockets and smoas and predator missiles and all that good stuff. I wouldn't recommend that area. All over here, you know, on the other side of that wall, just advance a little bit further. You get a great line of sight over by the bridge. And uh, up here, guys, like I already previously showed you in the overview um, part of the video, you guys can get an amazing line of sight over to the bridge, like I already showed you guys. So, let's continue on. Now guys, moving on, so like I just said, let's move on. In a really, really creepy kind of tone. So yeah, we're moving on. So now, past c -Dom, we're going by b -Dom over in the graveyard, guys. And the graveyard, like I said previously, has so many different camping spots, lines of sight, grenade spots, things to bounce Securing grenades me. off of, bounce some... Throwing knives, maybe, and uh, yeah, and get some awesome kills to put in that latest montage of yours. So, if you have BNOM guys, you can come up here and get some awesome overview of the whole map, actually, or the whole graveyard map, I should say. Not the whole map itself, but the whole graveyard map. And uh, you can see when attackers are coming from either A DOM or C DOM from the bridge, and you can kill them before they even have a chance at even trying to take B DOM away from your possession. Moving on, so over there by the fence little area, like I said before, is also a great area. I already really covered the graveyard area, guys, so I'm just going to be really rep repetitive if I keep talking about the graveyard and how awesome the graveyard is. The graveyard almost sounds like a song or a band that I would name my band after. Like, yeah, we're, we're Zephadar and the Graveyard. Yo, that rhymes. Zephadar and the Graveyard. Man, that's, that's actually pretty cool. I'm, I might remember that for later. I'm going to go see you. Adom is very, very, very open. And so there's not many that, that many um, capture points, although there is one that I really found is really cool. So look at Sonic Fire 15 right there. He was, excuse me, right behind this little flower pot, and he was able to capture the flag, as you guys can see. And if, from my perspective, you can't even see that there's a guy behind it. Although you guys do need to watch out for grenades. Um, the grenades will be raining, like there's no tomorrow, and it'll ruin your day because, you know, who likes rain on a nice sunny day? Who likes Wow, I'm rhyming like Dr. Seuss over here. I should write my own books and my own little child's books about how a cat comes to play, or I should say a dog comes to play. Anyway, guys, so moving on. Um, yeah, that a, that's the A-Dom, and there's not many that many places to defend it. You know, although there's like a wall here or barrels here, you know. Not in that many different places, although I would like to jump up here. I don't know why that, that ticked me off like later that night that I couldn't jump on top of these things. But anyway, guys, 
So let's move on to capture the flag. <laughs> that sounded really, really pedophile-ish. But anyway, so capture the flag, guys. This will give you a really like, nice little flat, fast clip. Um, so if I could choose a team right here. So this is in the graveyard. And how many times have I said that the graveyard is awesome for defending? You're going to hide over in this corner. You know, you got to hide over by these fences. And, you know, you defend the flag from there. And, uh, you know, through this little um, graded, I should say, wall, if, you know, whatever you guys want to call it, the gate, the fence, it's all good in my book. Um, but, you know, up here is a great spot because you can see, like, everything about the flag. And, you know, it's one of the better spots to defend. Although, if you do just, just jump on top of this cross, you could get a really cool overhead view of the flag itself. And not of the whole graveyard, but the flag itself. And you can, I guess, turn that into the whole graveyard if you really, really must desire, if that is your desire. See like that. <laughs> but I already covered that in Domination. That, that is B-Dom. So make sure to go check out B-Dom if you guys skipped over the Domination part. But anyway, so moving on. The fastest way has to be jumping over this ravine. And you look so badass when you do it too. No joke. And uh, you just run over here by the Tree of Life, if you will. And you uh, quickly, I guess you could defend over this wall and defend over here. But you can't jump on top of or like over that wall because uh, I already tried that earlier. And, and it does not work. Now, this is a great um, place to defend. If you jump on top of the bench behind you, um, it gets a great line of sight right onto the guys that uh, you know that are trying to take the flag. And uh, yeah, so another great spot is on top of these uh, monument things. I don't know what to call them. I call them idol worshippers or earlier earlier in this video. But you guys can make up your own name. On top of this little balcony, you guys can get a great line of sight. So make sure you're covering that area if you have to cover this flag. So now, once you do capture the flag, you have to run. You should. I'm just saying, you should run down here and run all the way to your right, because there are really, really less, a lot less enemies than um, if you decide to run to the left. So if you run to the right, you guys can go through the altar and then go through the graveyard, because the graveyard where the flag is, it's such in the middle of the graveyard that there is no shortcuts to get to the um, scoring place faster. This video is unfortunately coming to an end, guys. I had a great time making this map guide for Sanctuary. So see you guys later. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, on Facebook, on all that good stuff. Subscribe, like, comment down below, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Have a good day.